Once upon time, in a small village, there lived a widow called Maria. She had three sons. Their condition was not good. After her husband's death, she started working as a maid. She took care of her sons with whatever small amount of money she earned. Among the three sons, the elder son was actually her sister's son. After some days, Maria became very sick. She was worried about what would she do in this situation. James, please listen to me. And James said, yes, mother, I'm here with you. Tell me, dear. I do not think that I will survive this sickness. You have grown up now. You are old enough to earn for yourself. But what about your younger brothers? How will they survive? I can't give them full a meal. What will happen when I'm gone? Please don't say such things, mother. I won't let anything happen to you, mother. My dear son, if you want to do something for me, even in that bed, then please take care of Daniel and Terry after my death. Please, mother, don't say such things. I promise you that. I will take good care of Daniel and Terry. I will raise them as my own sons. I give you my words. My child, but when you will get married and have kids, you will forget about your brothers. No, mother, I promise you that I'll not have any kids. From today onwards, Daniel and Terry are my sons. Hearing James's words, Maria was relaxed and she left the world in peace. James, Daniel and Terry started crying. After doing all the last rituals, James started thinking about what he should do next. James started working in a garment factory. He progressed very well in that factory. After a few years, he started his own garment factory. After a few days, he got married. He became very successful. He started a new business for his two brothers. So brother, you have done so much for us. We can never repay you for all of this. What nonsense you are talking about Daniel. I love you both. You are sons. James had earned all the wealth, with hard work and devotion, and to fulfill his promise that he gave to his mother. One day he adopted an offered kid, Charles from a temple. Charles did all the house chores, and he treated James as if he is a god. James also loved Charles very much, and treated him like a son. Everything went on very well. After a few days, Daniel and Terry got married. Daniel and Terry, please come here, my sons. You have to work hard for your business. This is the way to success. Yes, brother. You don't have to worry. We'll work very hard. But after Daniel and Terry's marriage, their wives, Mary and Emphon, were jealous of James's wife, Hannah. They felt that they have to depend on Hannah's permission for even the smallest thing. But Hannah always took care of Mary and Emphon. Just like James, she considered Mary and Emphon as her daughters. In the evening, when Daniel and Terry came home, Mary and Emphon said, Tell me one thing. Do we always have to listen to Hannah? We don't like it at all. Either you can stay with your brother and sister-in-law, or you can stay with us. You have to decide this today. Charles heard what they said and told James everything over a phone call. Daniel and Terry were waiting for James to come home. And when he came, they said, Brother, we have decided to leave this house today. We are planning to shift to a new home. Give us a share in the property. What are you talking about? Where are you going to stay if not here? I earn all of this just for you. What am I going to do with this property? I just want you to be happy. Hannah, come here. Give me the keys to lock her. Hannah gave the keys to James. And James gave those keys to Mary and Emphon. Now it's your duty to take care of this house. This house belongs to you from now on. Saying this, James and Hannah went into their room. Then Hannah asked James, I know you earned all this for your brothers, but you should have thought. Before giving them all of this, you didn't keep anything for yourself. Daniel and Terry are like my sons. You don't have to worry about anything now. They are grown up. They have to take the responsibilities someday. Let them start right now. Some days pass by happily after this. And one day, James's factory was caught on fire and it caused them a lot of loss. James told his brothers after the fire, There is no income from the factory. I have taken some loans and I have to pay them. Please pay those now. We'll take off it afterwards. All right, brother. They had their dinner and went to sleep in their rooms. Mary and Emphon said to their husbands, Do both of you have a lot of money? You have your responsibilities. James and Hannah don't even have kids. They will not face any problem. You don't have any need to pay their loan. Let them take care of this themselves. James and Hannah heard them talking. Their factory was auctioned off by a bank. Mary and Emphon accused Charles of stealing their jewelry and asked him to leave their house. Hannah could not take this anymore and left the world. 
after Hannah's death. James lost his mind. Daniel and Terry threw him out of their home to poor. James took shelter in temples or any place available. He would eat whatever he got. Charles went to New York and became a successful person. Now he owned four to five companies. One day he returned to James Village to meet him. But before going home, he decided to donate something to the temple, from where James adopted him a few years ago. But he was shocked when he saw James sitting beside beggars and orphaned people. Charles touched his feet and started crying. You are my God, and you were gone through all this, but not once you thought to contact me. Don't you trust your quest a bit? Sir, where is my sister-in-law? Your sister-in-law is no longer in this world, Charles. James told Charles everything that has happened to him. Charles decides to give James what is rightfully his. Then he bought all the shares of Daniel and Terry's company. And then he made James owner of these companies again. When Daniel and Terry found out about this, they were regretful. They went to James's house to apologize. We made a grave mistake. Brother, please forgive us. We never understood your kindness. I can forgive you any time. But the person worked hard to provide you everything. As a father, and who took care of his brother, as if they are his own son. That brother will never forgive, because you didn't care, whether he survives or not. And Charles, this is very clear now. They have come to apologize, because they are not doing well. But if they become rich again, they might start changing their colors again. But James had not forgotten. The promise that he gave to his mother. James gave them the shares of their company. And then he started living with Charles. Daniel and Terry left their home ashamed.